Why not fitness? Transformation Nation. Hi guys, welcome to Why Not Fitness. My name is Emil Sanchez, and I'm the master instructor here at Why Not Fit. We're gonna have uh, go over a little review on the app on the iPhone app. All right, easy to upload. You just go to the Apple Store or Google Play, and then you enter Why Not Fit. It's not the complete name; it's just F I T. So Why Not Fit? And then what you do is you just simply download. Um, you see here, I already. Uh, uploaded it so I would put put open and it would take me to the app all right as you can see right here um you log in you put the email that you sent over to me at why not fitness at outlook.com you'll see it below me in a bit right here why not fitness at outlook.com what you do is you'll send in uh your email that you will use to log in to your app. You'll use that exact same email to log on. And then when you log on, you're going to create for the first time is your password. And you want to write that password down, save it somewhere so you have it handy in case you forget. Um, that way you're not calling me all the time that you have to reset that password. All right. Um, very simple to use. Once you do that, you're going to go through a questionnaire. All right. The questions that you will go through will be very simple and it's just for me to know you better and then what your goal is uh what you want to take from this app itself the why not fit app which is a great app uh we build your workout regimen and your meal plan by the uh the way you answer these questions all right it's very simple it's going to ask you what is your name you simply enter that and then you go into what is your date of birth so that way we know your age uh very important so we know how to calculate your BMI, uh, your calorie intake, uh, and your workout, uh, what your workout heart rate level should be at the max and minimum. All right. And then you enter uh, your gender and then uh, your weight would be the next question that you would answer. The weight that you weight right now at this moment, listening to me and looking at me at this video. Following that, you go into what is your height. Uh, your height you would put in. You have to know the better. The best way to, uh, to get the best results is to answer these questions correctly. So know your height, know your weight. So you enter your height, and then you would put your coaching objective would answer, which would be their strength training, improve endurance, improve athletic skills, weight gain, or weight loss. So you have a choice from for that so you pick one all right and then the next one would be what is your normal level of activity first one would be sedentary which is no exercise and have a desk job you don't exercise at all the following one would be exercise one to three days per week the following would be exercise three to five days per week the next one would be like myself exercise six to seven days per week all right uh, and it'll quickly go into the next question, which would be, where do you typically work out? This one's very important. It's good for me to know. And B, uh, at the end, you're going to have a note section. You can enter it there. Uh, be specific. You could put, I work out from home five times uh, out of the week. And on weekends, I work, at the, work out at the gym. So that way, when I create your workout regimen, I can make sure that your workout plan on the weekends is gym related, not home based. All right. Uh, if it's outdoors, if you do, a, uh, I know if you're from Austin, Texas, uh, a lot of people like to work out outdoors on the weekends. So I could create a boot camp that you could do outside by, you know, Lady Bird Lake um, or any of the parks in Zilker. Um, and then the qu next question would be, how many days in a week would you like to work out? This is very important. So let's say you started seven days a week and you got a new job. It's causing a lot of stress on the schedule with the kids, with everything. So it's dropped down to maybe you can only make it two to three days a week. Don't be shameful. Be truthful because then your workout will be planned. The intensity level will be planned based on the times uh, uh, that you can attend during that week. So let's say you would go to the gym seven days a week 
and now have gone down to three or four, I know that you're. we might have to jump up on the amount of time you're going to spend at the gym or with the workout and the intensity level instead of getting a cardio kickboxing. You might get a cardio kickboxing and a boot camp class because you've got to burn off those calories that you would with those two extra days you will not be adding to your schedule in the future. So very important that you answer that. Don't be embarrassed. I want you to answer correctly and honestly. All right. The next one would be what is your diet preference? Standard, vegetarian, lacto-vegetarian. There's different vegetarians on there. And then you can also put, you know, a low carb. Or uh, the next one would be if you have uh, food allergies. Put that in there. All right. A standard meal plan is what I follow. So it would be uh, you could basically do any kind of meal plan. All right. And you have more variety. Vegetarian, you know what you could eat. So your meal plans would be vegetarian based. So exact same thing. Answer it correctly. And we'll go with that. Um, and then right after that, uh, after that last question, you're going to get um, what food are you allergic to? And then write any notes. Remember, on the notes, write down any detail from any of the questions above. Like I said, if you do home workouts Monday through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you do outdoor workouts, be specific, put it in there so I know on the weekends I give you a workout plan based on outdoor activity. All right. Every Sunday you will get a schedule. All right. You'll get your meal plan and your workout schedule every Sunday. So you can't see the one that's coming up on Tuesday. So you'll be able to see Mondays. You'll check in for it. This is where accountability comes in. Oh, I forgot to mention. You also have to take a picture facing forward, facing side, facing back. That's your before shots. Take them. Don't be embarrassed. Do them. Only you can see them and I can see them. All right. And it's it's free. I'm good, guys. It's going to push you. Believe me, three weeks to four weeks, you're going to see a huge difference. And I have faith on why not, why not fitness. It's worked for many people in the past. Losing from 75 to 85 uh, five pounds, some to 90. And they did it in two and a half to three months. Drastic change. Even life changes. Some ladies went through divorces, um, met new husbands, are happily married now uh, because husbands would pick on them because they were overweight. And now they're happily married with and have uh, kids with different men. They're more confident and they've kept their weight off. Some went through um, medical issues or something in their life where they fell off the fitness wagon, but they're back on with why not? They're doing it again. Um, it's okay. Life is that way. It goes up and down. All right. So make sure you take those photos because they're going to help you. They're going to motivate you and they're going to help me stay on track and make sure I'm on you and making sure you follow everything. You also have check-ins. Every workout, you got to check in. And there's some questions that will be asked on there when you check in if you're on your meal plan. If you missed your meal plan, so I know if I need to change your workout for the following day for missing that meal or you fell off the meal plan, I, I'll have to uh, up the ante on the workout, all right? Very great, very, very good app. Uh, I love it. I think it's a great way to keep you guys accountable, one. And it, it, it goes with my method of the meal plan. Everyone's different. We're not all the same. We have a different body. We burn calories differently. Some have to work out harder than others. Some can eat more than others. And this lets us break it up for each individual person. So check it out. Play with it. If you have any questions, um, you'll have the one-on-one -on -one meetings with me, which will be message and text message specifically on the app. And it'll say your one-on-one -on -one uh, Zoom meeting is coming up. And it's done on the app, not on Zoom. And then we do a face-to-face -face call. We talk about your... Your, your meal plan, your workout plan, how it's going, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I want to hear it. Don't just say good, 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 because that's what I want to hear. No, I want to hear what you really have to say about it because I want you to get the results. Not about me. It's about you. And I want to help you get to the best that you can be. All right. So enjoy. If you have questions, reach out. 
Again, my name is Evil Sanchez, Master Instructor here at Why Not Fitness. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Why Not Fitness? Transformation Nation.